Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we heard about Janet. Now, now I hear that the teenage girls, they like Nick Cage. Mm, no. Yeah, you know. <clears throat> All right. Spencer got that and nobody else did. Okay, next. All right. Now, I've been explaining to people for many years, and you don't listen, Hovhannisian is the thinnest chess player who ever lived. Okay, he's black against Hikaru here. Somebody go to their internets and type in Hovhannisian chess. And then when you see a picture of him, you'll be like, okay, so do that. While you're doing that, I'll, I'll, I'll get a period. <clears throat> Uh, still have pants on. Ridiculous. Nick Cage has 50 good movies. Well. You would, but you couldn't spell it. See how Smith. Yeah, you just put the word chess in. So hey, Nick Cage has that new movie coming out where he's he's himself in the movie. <laughs> Nick he's Cage the has an Academy Award, and you have a loaf of bread that expired in October. That's true. <laughs> I did throw out that. He's a twig. Yeah, did you guys look up, yeah, the, the Hovhannisian guy? Mm -hmm. When I was at the World Team Championship, he was the first alternate. He only played one game and he won. That was it. And when the Armenian, and when we went to eat in the, like where I bumped into, you know, Smirin, when we went to eat, usually the teams ate together. And then like, you know, so, so the Armenian team ate together, but I, I, never, I never saw Hovhannisian there. I guess he's not allowed to eat. Yay, thank you for the raid, Alicia yeah. Zoo. Thank you so much. Yeah. Anyway, Big he, he played Ray Robson in the World Junior in 2011 in, um, in Chennai. And I was coaching Ray, but I was sick at that point. And he made Ray Robson look obese. Yeah. yeah. Ray Robson was kicked out of India for being too fat. Man, truth hurts. <laughs> Yay, thank you for the raid. <clears throat> okay, now I don't care about this game because the game is very badly played. So we're going to get to the part that I care about. <clears throat> now, I wasn't sure if I should care about it or not. So which character in Rick and Morty did I ask, Karen? Well, I only know some names. Let's see. Yeah. Well, he's not a normal character. Oh, I'm not going to know. Yeah, water tea. Yeah, I'm gonna I mean, it's iced tea, but yeah. it's water tea. <clears throat> I was very sad to learn that the person who played iced tea, water tea, <coughs> in Rick and Morty was not iced tea. They just got one of their random guys to do it. Terrible. I've never been so upset. Okay. Now, now pay attention. I am now, here's the part too. that's shocking and appalling. Okay? Yeah. Okay. If you had to win this position, mm -hmm. you were, like, forced to, would you rather have white or black? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm never good at evaluating. Doesn't matter. I, I like, you know, black's about to clean here, but they got the book on it. So, one, two, three, four pawns, four pawns, materials even. Um... That the cleaning square is not the same as the... You're, you're trying to evaluate the position. Yeah. If you had to win, do you want white or black? Okay. You had to win. Well, I'm not good at winning. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You get to have white or black here. Um, I don't know, black. Okay, I agree. The engine says black's better. Mm -hmm. I have a pass pawn on the seventh rank. Yeah. And... I can never lose. Okay, and that's and and, and Hovhannisian has a thinness of steel. Or is that Karpov? Okay, but somehow Hikaru won this oh, really? with white, which is shocking and appalling. It's a good thing it wasn't Magnus. Whenever Magnus has a dead draw and ending and his opponent blunders, instead of saying, man, that guy's an idiot, he blundered, which is what you should say, you guys are like, oh my God, Magnus, you know, he could win with a pawn against every you know, piece because you guys are all idiots. God. You never like met, white never met such crispy? dumb people. Oh, okay. They're not dumb. No, they are because they think when Magnus wins dead drawn endings that he has superpowers, not that his opponents fail miserably. Okay. So, so, so watch the rest of the game. I don't like H5. Don't like H5 because it weakens G6. I don't like it. 
Okay, fixes his pawn on g6. Now, by the way, in this position, in, in this one, if we go back, well, oh, maybe it's forward. I don't know. We're going somewhere. Uh, yeah. No, it is forward. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so in this position, he played rook b4. Okay, that's okay. Rook b7. Right. And this is the position where... Okay, now, when I was watching the, the commentary with Gustafsson and Laco, which is like the only watchable commentary, that's, that's barely watchable. God. Why is everybody so bad at commentary? I was like, I wonder if Hofenician's going to win. And the engine says it's a draw, but, you know, very, very, very slightly better for black. Now, if Carlson was playing this game, and it was like any two commentators, like any two, mm -hmm. except me, they would say that he's playing for a win. It wouldn't matter if he's white or black. They're just like, it's Carlson, so he'll win either color. Okay, so they were like, why isn't he forcing the draw by playing rook here? And then rook takes as a draw. And if you move the rook away, rook here is a draw. And I was like, if I was black, I wouldn't force the draw either. Black has a pawn in the seventh rank that's queening. So they were like, man, he missed this opportunity to draw. And I was like, opportunity to draw? It's got past pawn in the seventh rank. Okay. So he played here. And again, the engine says it's a draw, but it rather it'd slightly rather have black. Now it was clear that Hofanissian was playing for a draw, which is why this move is weird. Okay, because he just did this. He just moved his bishop back and forth. Now, it could be he just wanted to gain time on the clock because there's an increment. So that's also a good idea. Okay, and Hikaru moves his king over to the, you know, this side of the board. To the queen side. That way the pawn's not dangerous. Okay, still a draw. I mean, white's not better here. Yeah, king g8's not... I mean, bishop e7, I think, is just an easy draw. This is a draw, too. All right. Or g1. So he, he'll, Hofenician's drawing by just trading everything. All right, and then he played king e2, which is fine. And then black blundered. So... Uh, you can't take this pawn, because your bishop has to stay here. Mm-hmm. So these pawns are sort of safe now. And I'm just going to take this attack. Okay. So, so he wants his king over here defending. He wants the king here defending his g-pawn. He played here. Okay. Now, the problem with rook g3, and when I say there's a problem, there is no problem. The problem with rook g3 is the rook isn't defending b1. So that means the bishop can wreak havoc. Take this, check and take this, because the, the rook's... Okay, mm -hmm. now this is still a draw. You take this, then you take this, you lose these two, and it's a draw. And the engine says all zeros. It says every move is all zeros. And he made an elementary blunder here. And like, if Magnus was white, they would have said, oh, Magnus this, and Jebediah that, and Ezekiel this. And I would have said, the guy blundered a piece. Because here, black blundered a piece. Now, Karen will back me up that all zeros right uh, every yeah. move every move all zeros every move mm -hmm. okay and he blundered with this move okay and if you want to know what an intermezzo is or a swish and sook or you want to pronounce correctly you're in the right place so he, here's what he was thinking first of all he was thinking arby's okay he was thinking if you take it i take that and that's a draw and that's correct He's thinking, if you don't take it, I'll take that. And that's a draw. And he was correct. And White has a very simple win here. If you were doing like Puzzle Rush or Tactics Trainer, this would be like in the middle. It wouldn't be the easiest, but it wouldn't be the hardest. So White to play and win. Go, Karen. <clears throat> The ability to not blunder is really important in Blitz and Bullet. And, and it's more important than opening theory and strategical considerations. 
And that's why people like Naroditsky and Tang, who are really, really, really good at bullet and hyper bullet and slow chess, Naroditsky's okay. And he's a lot better than me, but he's not top 20 in the world, top 50 in the world, top 100 in the world. And Tang is like me. But the skills that will pay the bills in bullet and blitz are what's that's what's on trial here. And that's that's what Nakamura is good at. Nakamura worse or equal the last 30 moves, and now his opponent blunders a piece. Nakamura didn't blunder a piece, so that, that wins. It seems like you could check. I just don't know which one's better with the bishop. Right. Well, you don't want this pawn to queen, so you check oh, here. Stainless, stainless, right, yeah. Right. Yeah, if you check here, then, you know. You, you know and then you lose your bishop if yeah. the knight has to do. The knight? No, I mean the rook. Yeah. I see now. Yeah, so he just played check and the game's over. I mean, it's ridiculous. He hung a piece. Yeah, I've never been so angry. All right, and the game concluded. And then Nakamura played a trick at the end that was unnecessary because he has a good sense of humor. All right, Nakamura played a funny move here. Totally unnecessary, but funny. Here. He's the funniest. And then resigns. Every move won, that was just like the funniest way to win. Yeah. And so forth. Uh, right, three good moves. Bishop h7, bishop h7, and bishop h7. Hammer and Crush sounds like the best cop buddy movie ever. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like, I don't agree with Oh, it's Spencer and others. I don't like Hammer's commentary, and I can't. Stand but Karen, <laughs> why don't you like my commentary? I execute the English language quite well. It's, yeah, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, truth hurts. They at least they do at least look at a variety of games. Over on Chess Twenty Four, they they look at two games. That was pretty. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mr. Floopy. He is enthusiastic. <laughs> but if you're enthusiastic about every single move, then it's hard to know what's to get enthusiastic. Hammer's name was actually pronounced Yoon Luvig Hammer, not Hammer. So, yeah, it's not as funny as MC Hammer. <clears throat> Who's more talented? Hammer at chess, you know, Yoon, or MC Hammer at, I don't know, entertainment? I don't know what he does. What do you think? Um, I don't know MC Hammer's work well enough to speak. Work? Wow. Yeah. That insults everybody else's work. Man. <laughs> Man, the truth hurts. MC Hammer is better at big trousers. That's true. Yeah. Well, it's, I'm glad you guys love Hammer. Mm -hmm. I mean, he I'm sure he's a very nice person. I All just, he knows is Karen's <laughs> looking good. I just don't like his commentary, though. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you, Eduardo. MC Hammer, <laughs> best at bankruptcy. Yeah, Hammer was higher rated mm -hmm. 10 years ago than he is now. Yeah. 